Hey everybody, it's Aaron here and I'm gonna show you how to take your output from OBS and send it into Zoom. It's really simple, just requires a couple tools and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. If you're actually trying to figure out how to send video and audio from one PC to a second PC, that's a different video and the link is in the description below. This video, however, is all about sending your output from OBS into a Zoom call. But before we get started, consider subscribing to this channel if you find yourself looking up uh, tips about OBS all the time because that's what I do. One last thing before we get started. Getting these tools downloaded and installed is not just gonna do the whole thing for you. There's other steps that you have to take after you get the tools that I'm about to show you. So make sure you watch the whole video, otherwise you might not get this right. It's a little complicated, but it'll work. So let's get started. All right, so the first step is to go to NDI Tools website, which is ndi.tv slash tools. And then you're gonna scroll down to NDI Tools 4.5 available now, and you're gonna click download. And then for Windows or Mac, um, of course this tutorial is gonna be based on Windows, so click download. You'll have to register with some information in order to get the download file, no big deal. I haven't gotten any spam from them or anything like that for doing this. All right, so once you get the installer open and you go through some of those initial menus, you'll come to this one where it asks you to select components. Just scroll down and make sure that virtual input is selected. And you can run it at Windows Start, but you can leave it off too. All right, so once it's installed, you can just go hit the Windows key and you can type in VIR until you get virtual input. Run the app. Nothing's gonna pop up at first, but then if you go down to the arrow down here and you look in your system tray, you'll see NDI tools. Right click that, and then you go to your desktop, which hopefully is listed there. And then you should be able to find whatever your OBS NDI output is called. If you don't know how to find that, I'll show you real quick. So in OBS, go up to the top here for tools and then NDI output settings. Make sure that you enable main output and give it a name and then click okay. Now, if you don't see NDI output settings as an option in the tools menu of OBS, then go check out the other video that I'm gonna put just up here at the top corner or down in the description uh, and follow the initial steps for that video in order to add those NDI tools to OBS. All right, so let's double check again. Right click that NDI at the taskbar, go to your desktop and make sure that you can see and select the name that you gave to the NDI output from OBS. I do recommend an audio to start maybe at like plus 20 dB because otherwise people in your Zoom call might complain that you're too quiet or that the audio coming through is too quiet. So crank it up and then if they complain is too loud, you can slowly bring it down to 10 or six or, or zero, which is the starting level and choose your video quality that you want. Now let's get a Zoom meeting going. All right, now we're in a Zoom call and there's two ways to do this. One is to set the NDI virtual input as the webcam and the second way to do it is to use the screen share tools. I actually recommend the second way, but I wanna make sure I show you the first way because maybe for you, you like it better this way. So when you go to select your webcam, you can go near the start video area and click that little button and then change it to new tech NDI video and then start video. And now you're seeing the output of my OBS and I can change scenes and do all the regular production stuff that you would do in a live stream. This is some stuff I'm working on for a tournament right now, but you get the idea. All right, so now I'm gonna shut that off. And the next way that we are going to bring this in is using the screen share in Zoom. So click screen share, and then you're gonna to go to the advanced area, and you're gonna choose content from second camera and click share. Now it's gonna create this full screen area, but just double click it to make it windowed just so that it's easier to move around and scale so when you're doing your actual production, it's not in the way. And then click switch camera slowly until you see the output from OBS. It'll say new tech NDI video at the top here. And give it a few moments to kick over. And there you have it. Now this is actually just a preview for you of what you're sharing in your call. But everyone else in the call will see this like any other screen share. I've actually found personally that I get higher quality doing it this way versus the first method of using it as a webcam. 
and that's how you get the video and the audio in there. All of the audio coming through OBS should also make it through into the call. If it doesn't, you may need to do some troubleshooting. But the idea is that everything that you're outputting to OBS will make it into Zoom. You may have to select the NDI virtual input as your microphone in the call as well if you're going to use it as a webcam rather than a screen share. You can also forego the need to transmit your audio from OBS if you really just want to send the video portion, then use a regular microphone in Zoom for your audio. Now I know this is a lot and it can get really confusing. If you follow this video step by step, you should be able to do it. But if you have any questions, just post them in the comment section and I'll try to guide you through whatever issues you might be having. And if this video proved to be the most direct advice to getting your OBS output into Zoom that you've been able to find on YouTube, let me know. I think that would be great. And consider subscribing as a way of saying, hey, thanks, man. Your videos are pretty good. And if you want to learn how to connect two PCs to each other using NDI, check out my other video linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Welcome, and thanks for calling the R in Hawaii YouTube hotline. In a few words, tell us what you're calling about. You can say things like, my stream won't start, or how did you do that thing with your webcam? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Press zero to reach an operator who can assist you.